right now I'm sitting in my living room, which is a mess. Um, and I'll get to why in just a moment. So, I mentioned... Oh, please ignore the TV playing. I really want to turn that off. Um, so, I mentioned earlier this week that my roommates would be going out of town and... detail, it's really not that strange. So, we've been really busy, and we've had a lot of big projects going on. Um, so, long story short, I've been totally busy, but at night time, I had planned that I was going to make a nails video uh, with my new, putting on new nails have not been able to do that, I'll explain why. So, as you know, Halloween's coming up. Um, if you've watched my videos for a while, many of you will know that I really enjoy making things, making my own costumes, making fall decorations, making crazy looking pumpkins with glitter. I just love craftsy things and Pretty much, they're usually things I've totally made up, or I'll see something, and I'll have an idea what I want it to look like, and then just totally make up how to do it. So, something that I did not make up, um, which I'll share with you now. If you use Pinterest, or if you have ever just happened to see this image for a while, been a picture of, um, I guess the only way to describe it is chicken wire dresses. So for Halloween, you can use chicken wire and shape it to be these really neat, either Victorian style dresses or these, I'm so tired, this is not making sense. Okay shape them into dresses and then you spray paint them with glow in the dark paint and they make really cool ghostly figures in your yard so if you're interested you can google it and you'll see what I mean um, the problem is as far as I know no one has ever given any decent instructions um, for how to do this there's a picture of the end result that someone did, but there's no pictures that show it actually glowing in the dark, so I did some research, I found someone who wrote kind of some rough instructions, um, and I'll show you what they say, so. Okay, I'm gonna skip, I'm not gonna read you all the instructions, but I'll just show you. doesn't actually look green like that, so I made a figure, it's taken me a lot longer than I thought, and I made one over the course of last night and tonight, it looks pretty close to this one, but I will say that these directions, if you google, you will find these two, kind of were ridiculous because they ask for you to cut three different panels of wire, which the task of cutting the wire is so ridiculous. I do have wire cutters, but it all comes in a big roll, a roll, so I have this tarp, or this sheet here was laid across the living room, so I didn't damage the carpet, and then I had to weight down the chicken wire with chairs and heavy objects so that it wouldn't roll back. So once you've rolled out the three, or cut the three panels, the idea is you're supposed to use thin wire 
to sort of sew the, all the ends together and you make one giant cylinder which is the base of the dress and then you can it's a lot of fun because basically then you get to just sculpt it and do whatever you want however um this person could have just left out the part where you cut the panels and just said measure you know x length of chicken wire and bend it into a cylinder so i was kind of i'll just say it i was pissed when i realized that i had already cut this wire and i should have read these directions more closely before i started because cutting the three panels makes absolutely no sense so essentially i measured three different lengths or three the same lengths excuse me cut them into three pieces and then had to sew them back together with wire why wouldn't he just leave it as one long length? Makes no sense. So, uh, the next dress I make, I'm going to be doing a little bit differently. And it won't be the same style of dress. I'm going to kind of, now that I've gotten one done, I'm going to go with my own ideas. There's some others I've seen have cut them sort of like a one shoulder dress, but I like this Victoria style so as you'll see I have the remnants of my cutting here and I'm gonna cover you up and take you and show you the end result so hold on you will probably not be able to see this very well so I've taken this out of the living room Actually turned out very intricate, which I was pretty proud of. Let me walk you to the end of the hall and see. Spooky, right? So what I'm gonna do is spray paint this with glow in the dark paint, and then um, it will go in the yard. And I'm going to make a couple more. Now the one, one problem, let me turn on the light. Maybe it burns brighter. Okay, so that's what it looks like with the light on. Um, one problem that I could encounter is that it may not actually glow in the dark very well. Um, kind of just depends on how many coats you use and also um, if you have a dark place to put it. I couldn't find any pictures online that have the actual finished product. Oh, and this is so annoying. Even on camera, you can't... All this dark area here it's uh, I wish you could really see but there's all these ridges and grooves how the dress fluffs out which I'm pretty happy about but and I bent it in the front to have like a low neckline like that so pretty happy with it how it turned out but we'll see if it actually glows or not my um one side of my house has a street light, and I hadn't really thought about that before, so I'm going to have to move and put them on the other side of the house and hopefully not make the neighbors angry, because it's probably going to go a little bit into their property line, but I have a feeling they won't be too mad. Um, I'm hoping that people will enjoy this. People like to go walking a lot in their neighborhood, so... Anyways, I'm rambling, so I thought I'd share that with you guys. Um, if you want to know how I did it or you have any questions, let me know. I will show you again at some point when I finish all the other dresses. My mom wants me to make her one as well as her cousin. And I will tell you, it's not a cheap project. Um, one roll of the wire at, at the necessary length costs about $20 at Home Depot, 
and I bought three rolls because I didn't really know how much I was going to need. It says that it takes a, one roll per dress, but I'm, I found that I don't think I even used half of that roll. I think I'm probably going to have a lot. I can probably get two dresses out of that roll, maybe even three. We'll see. So, um, I'm also going to try to make one smaller. I think that that's one thing I didn't see anywhere else doing. Sorry, I'm rocking. 